Hi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create an editable 3D text effect in Photoshop. In this video, I tried to teach you an easy and step-by-step -step way. So let's get started. Start by create a new document. Set width to 3800, height to 2000 pixels, and resolution to 300. Create a new solid color and set color to 00535. Change foreground color to 1D9 ECF. Grab the ellipse tool from tools panel and draw an ellipse and resize it to whole document. Grab the move tool and press Ctrl and T to select transform. Make sure the maintain aspect ratio icon is not enabled. Decrease the horizontal scale to 82% and vertical scale to 72%. Move the shape up. Go to filter menu, blur, Gaussian blur, convert to small object. Set the amount to 220. Create a new solid color. Decrease the fill to zero, set to multiply, and decrease the opacity to 35%. Go to Blending Options, choose Pattern Overlay. Select the pattern you downloaded from the description in this video. Set the scale to 130% and change the blend mode to overlay. Now, we want to add all the background layers to a group layer. For this, select the last layer, holding the Shift key, and select the first layer, to selecting all background layers. Now, right-click on the layers and click on Group from Layers. Or you can do this with pressing Ctrl and G. Set the group name to Background. Grab the Type tool from Tools panel and type your text. Select your text and change color to black. You can change the font to Jody1 Regular. The link of this font is in description below. You can increase the text size and move it to center of the document. Press Ctrl and T. Click on the anchor point and drag it to below of the text. If you cannot see the anchor point, click on the toggle reference point to show it. Set the horizontal scale to 99.75% and vertical scale to same. Right-click on the text layer and convert to small object. Make a copy from this layer and hide it. Set name to effect 1. Decrease the fill to 0. Go to Blending Options and choose Gradient Overlay. Set the first color to FD7 121. And the second color to F8CB38. The other settings is the same default. Press Ctrl and J to make a copy from this layer. In Blending Options, choose the stroke. Set the size to 21 pixels, position to inside, and opacity to zero. Also set the color to white or FFFAC6. Click on the gradient overlay. Change the first color stop to white. Click on the opacity stop in the left side and decrease the opacity to 0%. Click on the right side and close to it to add a new stop. Drag it to right side until the location come to 40%. Now in this position and at below click to add a color stop and set color to white. Change the last color stop to white and the opacity to 100%. Change the blend mode to overlay and press OK. Click on effect one layer, hold the Alt key and drag it to below to make a copy from this layer to below. Set name to extrude one. Right click on this layer and choose clear layer style. Add this layer to a group layer. Click on the extrude one layer and press Ctrl and Alt and Shift and T for 30 times. Rename the last layer to shadow and drag it to below to delete the group. Click on the icon in the left side of this layer to hide it. Click on the collapse arrow to close up all layers underneath that structure. 
Double click on the right side of this group layer to open blending options. Choose the color overlay and change the color to add for 218. Make a copy from shadow layer to below and set name to effect 3. Show the shadow layer and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Set the radius to 13 pixels. Repeat this effect with 9 pixels. And again 2.5 pixels. Decrease the opacity to 80%. Show the effect 3 layer and hide all other top layers to have more control over the layer. In blending options, choose the stroke, increase the size to 67. And change color to white. Choose color overlay and set color to white. Add this layer to a group and in the group blending options, choose inner shadow. Change blend mode to screen. Color to white. Opacity to 100%. Angle to minus 90. Distance to 5, chalk to 100, and size to 6. Choose gradient overlay. Change the first color to DFE0DF. And second color to white. Make a copy from effect 3 to below, right click and clear layer style. Drag it to below to leave the group. Hide Effect 3 group and rename the copied layer to Extrude 2. Add this layer to a group layer. Now press Ctrl and Alt and Shift and T for 30 times. Rename the last layer to Shadow 2 and drag it to below to to leave the group and hide it. Go to Extrude 2 group blending options. Choose Stroke. Set the size to 67, position to outside, and color to white. Choose color overlay and set color to white. Add this group to another group and go to current group blending options. Choose gradient overlay and set the first color stop to 84868D. And another color stop to D8D7D6. Now hide the current group and show the Shadow 2 layer. While the Shadow 2 layer is selected, change the blend mode to multiply, decrease the opacity to 90% and fill to 0%. In blending options, choose color overlay. Set the blend mode to multiply, color to 0 53 of 5, and opacity to 70%. Choose drop shadow. Change blend mode to multiply. Color to 0053 of 5. Opacity to 100%. Angle to 90. Distance to 20, spread to 50, and size to 160. Finally, show all top layers to see your final work result. For edit the text, you can double click on the left side of this layer to open the text window. Now change your text content and save it. Go back to the main document window, and as you can see the text content is changed and effect is work correctly. In addition to changing the text, you can also change other text settings. For example the spacing between words or fonts or other things. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Wait for the next tutorials.